In this video, I'm going to show you an AI agent that actually conducts research entirely for you. So all you have to do is just give it a topic, and it will then not only find information for you, it will then summarize that information, and then respond to you formatted however you'd like. Now, whether you're preparing for a meeting, you're doing market research, or maybe you're about to launch a new product, this agent makes it super easy for you to come in, give it a topic, and get any information you need about that given topic in just within seconds. Now, I'm super curious to see what sort of use cases this agent can actually be used for. So if you come up with a unique or just a cool way to use this agent, then drop a comment below. Uh, I'm really curious to see what you guys come up with as far as different ways to use this research agent. Now, I'm going to start with a quick demo, and then I'm going to walk you through how you can not only download the free templates that I'm linking in the description, and then I'm going to show you how you can set those templates up and start using this agent yourself. So I'm going to be interacting this agent through a Telegram chat. Telegram is just a messenger platform, and it's very convenient because it allows us to access this agent, uh, whether it's on our computer or on our phone. And all I have to do is just type out a topic that I want the agent to research. And for the purpose of this uh, video, I've told it to act as if it is researching for a e-commerce store that sells dog toys. So my, a little bit random, but that is the context that it is actually doing research uh, with and finding information on. So I could say something like uh, find product trends for my industry. So you can see it's gone out and found uh, dog toy trends and information uh, specifically for 2025. So it gives us some recent trends, general, inf general information, like the types of dog toys, purpose, uh, safety concerns, and then some common materials as well. So I could say, um, So here I just asked it to do a competitor analysis and look at only the top competition in my industry. So it came back with the major competitors like Kong, PetSafe, uh, Chuckit, etc. Uh, then it gives me some emerging trends. So eco-friendly products, uh, interactive ones, multifunctional, and then even gives me some sales channels. So online, brick and mortar, and then uh, some marketing insights that I can actually start implementing inside of my own marketing. So you can kind of start to imagine the uh, usefulness and effectiveness of this agent. You know, it gave me all that information literally within just a couple of seconds. So now I'm going to actually just walk you through how you can download the templates and then set this up for yourself and start using this AI agent. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you can go to the link in the description and actually download both of these templates. The templates will be the research agent and then a Tavli web search tool here. So I have them both put inside of a folder. All you have to do is download both of the JSON files and then how we can import those JSON files is you can go to your home page on N8N. We're going to select create a workflow and then the three dots here in the top right, we're going to click on those and then we're going to select import from file and you're going to do that for both. You're going to create two different workflows, one for each of those templates. So we can go back to the research agent here and we can start setting this up. So we are using a Telegram trigger, like I mentioned before. So what this does is whenever we send a message to the bot in Telegram, it then starts this automation. And how we can do that is you need a Telegram account and create one for free. And then we're going to start a conversation with what is called a uh, bot father. You can see the username here. We're going to initially say uh, forward slash start is the command to start the conversation here. We're going to do forward slash new bot to create a new bot. It will ask you to name that bot and then it will give you the link to start interacting with it. Then it will also give you the API uh, access token here. We're going to go uh, copy that access token. We're going to go back to Telegram, uh, select credential, create new credential, paste in the access token there and click save. And then we can also connect our OpenAI account. So to do that, I'm just going to look up OpenAI API. It's this first link here. I'm going to go, you might have to log in here, but I'm going to go up to the top right and do dashboard. Uh, go over to the left and select API keys. Create a new secret key. It will ask you to name that key and then give you the secret key. So you're going to want to write that down uh, somewhere. Don't share that. But you're going to copy that key as well. We can go back to NADN. 
open up this OpenAI node here, create a new credential, paste in the API key here, and hit save as well. So now that you've connected both your Telegram and your OpenAI account for the chat model here, I'm going to now walk you through the uh, information collection agent here. So you can see that this workflow is actually comprised of three different AI agents. The first one collects information about the topic. The next one then synthesizes or just summarizes that information. And then finally, the last one organizes that information into a response to send back to us. So the information collection, I'm going to open up this agent here and we have a prompt and a system message. I'm going to open up this prompt, kind of give you an idea of what this is saying. Uh, we're just asking it to compile as much information as it can uh, about a given topic. It also has access to two, to two tools. The first one being the web search tool, which I'll show you how to set up in just a minute. And then we also are giving it access to Wikipedia to find even more information. Um, I'm saying that it's rest less uh, relevant just because it's uh, Wikipedia, but uh, you can edit this, you can delete Wikipedia tool if you want, but then we're going to give uh, giving it the topic. So this gray bit right here is a variable representing the message that we are sending through Telegram. So whenever we send a message in, that is then filled in for this variable here and given to this agent as the topic. We are also providing a variable for today's date. That is what this little green bit is representing, just so it knows to find the most relevant information that it can. So that is it for the prompt. And then the system message here, we're just saying that it, you are a research specialist in charge of getting as much information about a given topic. And then here is where I changed it a little, just a little bit and said that you're working for a leading e-commerce store who sells dog toys. So any information that it should get, it should filter for the topic as well as the industry. And we're saying that industry is an e-commerce store selling dog toys. So this is where I'm the big part of the prompt that you can edit and kind of change depending on how you want to actually use this research agent. Um, so you get pretty creative when you're editing this system message as well as this prompt up here, uh, what sort of information and how you want it to actually go about researching. So I'm going to click out of this agent. The Wikipedia tool, we don't have to do anything for. It's just completely blank. But we actually need to set up this Tavly web search tool here. So I'm going to open up another tab for this Tavly web search. This is the temp template that you will have downloaded. And here we're just, uh, the first node is when executed by another workflow. And this just allows the other agent that we just made to actually call this workflow. And then here, this middle part is a HTTP request, basically an API call to a platform called Tavly. You can also make a free account on there, which I'll show you how to set up in just a minute. What this does is allows uh, the agent to call this tool and pass in a topic to be searched. You can see it gives us the uh, passes in a search prompt as the query here that it then uses the Tavly tool to uh, search the web and find different uh, results. So I'm going to go to the Tavly website, which I've linked here in this little note. We'll open up the Tavly website. We're going to create an account. I'm just going to log into mine that I've already made. This is entirely free. You can see my my free plan here. I've got plenty of credits left. Um, and then you can create an API key. Uh, then you're going to copy that key. We can go back to edit in click on this HTTP request node here, and then you're going to paste in that API key inside of these quotes here, and you're good to go. So you can, if you want to uh, edit this uh, API call, uh, you can see I'm getting the max result as two. You can set that higher if you'd like. And then the topic I've also set to news. So it gets a little bit more uh, relevant, up-to-date information. But if you're you know, researching things that have been out longer, you can change this to general. I'm just going to leave this as news for now, though. You can also add uh, different information to this as well. You can look through their documentation on the Tavly website. But I'm going to leave this. We can go out of here. And then this edit fields just formats those results a little bit easier for the 
other AI to actually process when we are sending those results back. So the edit fields, since I'm only getting two sources, I just have two sources listed here. And then when you select execute previous nodes to kind of test this, uh, if you decide to change this workflow, then you can drag in the different variables and the information that web search tool provides back. However, this is just sending the title of the source, the URL, and then the content from that page. And then we're doing that for the two different sources that we're getting back. So if you add more, then update this uh, edit fields as well. However, I'm just going to kind of skip over that and we're going to leave everything that I've provided here in the template the exact same. So then I can go back to the research agent. The tool, you might have to add a tool or at least select the um, workflow here. So we're going to do from list and then it will give you all the list of all the workflows that you have inside of NADN. So you're just going to select that uh, Tably web search tool and then I've specified news. So whatever you name the workflow here, it will pop up in this list. So you're just going to select that. And then for the workflow inputs, we are providing a information to search. We just set it to uh, expression and then from AI. And that just allows the AI to fill in this variable here that it should uh, search for. And we're just saying, you know, fill it in with information to search. So that is how you set up the Tavli web search tool. We click out of that and then we can go look at the uh, synthesizer that is uh, condensing that information and kind of summarizing it for us. So you can see the prompt here is just saying organize and condense the following information and make it super easy for us to understand as quickly as possible. And then we're giving it the, a uh, variable here. So this gray bit, the JSON to output, is the output from that previous agent that is getting all the information for us. So we're just passing that into this agent and saying summarize the information and then the system message is just saying, uh, you know, you're an expert taking loads of information, condensing it, and make it super easy for uh, humans to understand. So pretty simple as far as the prompt and everything goes there. The response agent, again, you can mess around with this, uh, change the prompt and the system message here. The prompt, uh, we're just saying um, form all of the condensed information into a appropriate response for the user. Uh, the response should be less than 3000 characters. So I would leave this the same. This is a constraint from Telegram that the messages can't be longer than, I believe it's something with 4000 characters. However, the AI does go over uh, quite regularly. So I set it quite a bit lower. Um, you can change this if you like, but if it starts failing, that's probably why the responses are too long. So I would recommend leaving this the same. And then for my personal preference, I just said to respond with bullet points and a brief statement, uh, effectively communicating information below. And then again, we're giving it the output from that previous agent. So the JSON to output again represents the output from, in this case, it's the synthesizer agent, which is condensing the information. And then we're just saying this for this agent to edit that information, organize it again, and then respond in whatever format that we like. So in this case, it was bullet points. And then we're just saying, you know, you're an expert at communicating uh, complicated information to general audiences. So we can research topics that we might not know much about, and then it will take that complicated and maybe super technical information and simplify it down for us to easily understand. And then again, both of these are using just the OpenAI chat model like we connected before, so you don't have to do anything here. Uh, if you'd like, when you're actually searching for this information, you could use a Google Gemini here. Uh, I'm not going to walk through setting that up, but uh, OpenAI works just fine as well. And then lastly, we are sending the uh, final response from this response agent back to ourselves through the Telegram chat again. So it's just sending that response back. Uh, nothing too complicated there. Um, but yeah, that is how you set up the agent to do research and the uh, web search workflow as well. So, walk you through testing this uh, again. You can go over to our bot. You can say,
So you can see here, I just asked it, what are the latest product trends in my niche? Uh, latest trends in dog toys in 2025. Um, oops. So this gave me two responses. I just accidentally forgot to change it from inactive to active. So I sent two messages and it gave me two outputs. But you can see this first output uh, ends here. So it's saying um, key insights. It gives me a company uh, evoking nostalgia. Uh, some health and wellness focused toys, uh, types of dog toys. And you can see the rest there. The second one gave me tech integration, sustainability, customization, etc. Um, yeah, pretty helpful. Uh, you can kind of read, skim over the rest of this, but uh, pretty helpful, uh, especially giving it that much information. Uh, super easy to process and read and within a couple seconds. So yeah, I really am interested to see the different use cases that you guys come up with. Again, drop them in the comments below. Uh, if you have any questions, also drop them in the comments below. Uh, I'm more than happy to help with any questions, problems you might have. Uh, if you got anything from this video, leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, that's all I have for you today. Have a good one.